who's going to come up here and do a guest spot for you guys. He's going to be headlining here on Tuesday. You guys feel like meeting him? Yeah. All right, guys, a little bit more noise. You guys feel like meeting your next comic? He's got a great CD out called No Punchlines Required. Again, he is headlining here on Tuesday night. Make some noise for Ken Kranz. Keep it going for KP and Tommy. Let them hear it. I, uh, I'll tell you guys something about me. I have the most beautiful two-year-old girl on the planet at home. And... Um, her parents must be worried sick. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, she's mine. I'm almost positive. Um, it's weird too, I never thought I'd be up here talking about having kids because I, I never wanted, I've never been impressed by kids. So I never really wanted one. Um, I sh I'm not impressed by American kids. Like the Blood Diamond kids and the Child Soldiers, they have work ethics. <laughs> I can get behind that, but American kids are not impressive. And I'm tired of playing the game. I have a nephew, Max. I love this kid to death. He's never impressed me a day in his life. <laughs> he called me the other night all excited. He was like, Uncle Kenny, Uncle Kenny, you're never going to believe this. But I just made you a picture. And I was like, wow. Max, you're never going to believe this. But some kid in China the exact same age as you made me this phone <laughs> that I'm talking to you on right now, so maybe get off your high horse. My kid impresses me, though, I'm not going to lie. She's the happiest, she's the happiest person I've ever met in my life. She goes to bed smiling, she wakes up laughing. She started sleeping through the night in eight weeks. And people tell me like, oh my God, you have no idea how lucky you are. And I have to be like, yeah, guess what? Luck had nothing to do with it. That's the kind of baby I wanted, so. <laughs> That's what I set out to make, it wasn't that hard. Babies aren't as hard as people tell you. I don't. I can tell you guys in one simple step how you can make a baby this perfect. It's so easy. Um, all you have to do is um, smoke weed <laughs> every day for 25 years. There's something about old pothead sperm. I can't explain the science, but it works. She didn't even come out uh, screaming and crying. She just popped out like... <laughs> like, wow, I didn't know all you guys were gonna be here. <laughs> Far out. Here's my favorite thing about being a pothead dad. It's that I'm equally amazed at everything as she is. It's like we're discovering things for the first time together. She's obsessed with the lamp in my living room. Every night my wife comes home, she starts flipping the lamp on and off. And then within two minutes, my daughter's staring into the light like, what's going on right now? This is blowing my mind. And then I'm right next to her like, oh my God, you know what? I never thought about it either, but this electricity is incredible. I can't wrap my mind around science. Like you just flip the thing and it works. One of these days, I'm going to find out who discovered it. Um, I read her books every night, seven-page books meant for babies. Every night, I get to page six, and I've got sweat pouring down. And I'm like, how are they going to wrap this up in one page? It's impossible. Nobody's that good. But they do every time. I'm like, oh, I'm giving them a Pulitzer. It's a giant dog party on top of a tree. All the signs were there, and I missed them. <laughs> I watched Sesame Street with her the other day for 45 minutes before I realized she was at daycare. <laughs> I didn't change the channel either. Like, what am I, an aristocrat? Like, I'm too good? Too good to bone up on the letter R? Before I get out of here, I hope you guys know that I'm joking. 
I, people come up to me after shows and treat me like a monster. Like, you smoke weed in front of the big, no, I absolutely do not. I'm a comedian, these are jokes. Besides, it's 2017, they have edibles. So, you guys have been a lot of fun. Enjoy the rest of your show, thank you. My name is Ted Grace. Give him over KP. Hey, Grant, let him here one more time, guys.